Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we are doing the weekly oracle card reading and we're focusing on love. I'm doing this a little differently. There are eight options of which you need to choose the one that's relevant to you. And uh, the first option is looking for love. The second is um, for those who have no contact. The third is for those who have had a recent separation or have had a fight. The fourth is for those who are in a back and forth, um, kind of not sure, complicated kind of scenarios where you, you're really not sure where you stand with the person and um, there's a, not really any kind of commitment. The fifth option is for those who are losing interest and um, you are not sure of what to do. And the sixth option is for those who are married or in partnered, long-term committed relationships. The seventh option is for, uh, is for those of you who are in a love triangle. And the eighth option is for those of you who have uh, somebody that is deceased or that's been out of your life for a very long time and um, you're just wondering about them. So all of these cards are cards of guidance for you in your particular situation. And um, yes, once again, the first option is for those of you who are looking for love. So those of you who are single. So um, one more note, uh, I did re-record some of the audio here as um, they were um, various uh background sounds uh, which would have been distracting for you in this video so I've just gone ahead and re-recorded some of the audio so um, you if you find a, a discrepancy between um, between the audio then uh, that's what that is all right so thank you and I hope you enjoy the video okay so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards and we're going to begin uh, with the number one those who are looking for love what is your advice for today so, for those of you who are looking for love, what is your advice today? So this is what I have for you. So for those of you who are searching for love, what I see here is that you're ready for that. You are, you have worked on yourself you have polished yourself and that you have love to give, that you're in a pure space at the moment and you perched upon a space uh, which you've made ready for yourself from which to invite others into your life. You have worked on yourself to the effect that you have uh, gained wisdom, um, have been through some soul lessons, have understood a few things about relationships and uh, you have that beneath you you have uh, what is beneath you is your um, you're pregnant with information about how to continue and I also see here that um, you have behind you and you have with you uh, an energy that supports you that plays a tune for you from which to go ahead and uh, this is the, the assistance that you get from the fairy realm or the angelic realm or from, peop from, from just the spirit world which assists you. And it's almost as if they're waiting to see what you do next. Um, the wise one is waiting to see what you do next. Beyond that, there's an, uh, an overwhelming or an all-encompassing energy that... Uh, and wisdom that knows it all, that smiles upon you and that knows that you are ready to uh, step into this new world, to step into this new light, uh, to understand where it is that you're going, to step into a newness know, with the knowledge of who you are and what is good for you and what is right for you. So it feels to me like you've gone through some things and that you've come through that and you are you are searching for a new love now you are ready for a new love and you offering yourself out there I feel that you are you may be ready for this new love but it's not exactly coming to you at this moment it's something that's around the corner it requires you to be perched upon your pedestal a little longer and 
and um, just to be con- to continue to focus on yourself. Your higher self also watches you with the knowingness of where you've come from and the pain that you've had, and 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 looks onto you with with respect and with pride for all that you've achieved and the manner in which you've rejuvenated yourself and the manner in which you've rebirthed yourself in preparation for that new love which will come your way. I'm just going to uh, draw a card for clarity for this. And we have the crone. So with the crone, I believe that it speaks to uh, what they can be in a relationship in the future and being aware of that which is negative as well as that which is positive. Having the wisdom to be able to assess when you are walking on a path that is not um, true to who you are that is uh, not true to the relationship and that is uh, steering away from the relationship. I think what the crone talks of is um, being able to acknowledge that at times there may be drama, there may be difficulties, there may be uh, heightened emotions uh, and upsets in a relationship, but also having the wisdom to be able to put that to an end, resolve that, get beyond that, work through that, and uh, being able to keep that balance and um, and just being able to not be naive uh, completely or, or to understand the relationship only in terms of oneself, you know. Um, I think in this context with this card that's come through, um, I think she's She's, she's advising us not to look in the mirror, admiring ourselves within the context of our relationship and expecting that relationship to admire us as well. I think she's, she's beckon, beckoning us to the truth of a relationship, that which is about discovering another and really cherishing another and really understanding another um, in order to be able to to have a relationship in which you both are fulfilled, and uh, I think she she um, cautions against the naivety that may come with uh, being young uh, and in love, perhaps for the first times, or for uh, for simply not having understood that a relationship is ultimately a give and take it has negatives and positives it has good and bad and it's really about what you make from about it but really understanding that it's not all about you within that context and I think that is the the lesson that she brings us uh, right now in this particular context okay so for those of you uh, we who are have chosen the number two What do you need to hear today? So the messenger in this deck basically is a warning and it talks about being careful not to engage in gossip uh, being careful about and uh, others uh, speaking about your situation, being careful about what your loved one may be saying about you uh, without you being there. Uh, now, I'm not uh, giving you this message so that you feel paranoid about that, but um, it asks you to really be clear about what is real and what is not real. It asks you to be to take to have um, to be more cautious, not to be uh, just so too open, not to wear your heart on the sleeve, um, just to and also to take uh, all that is said 
uh, to you with re regard to the relationship or the person that you're thinking of with a grain of salt. It's not necessarily true. It could also be somebody who's um, causing some trouble in your life, somebody who may be uh, speaking um, some falsities about your partner, the person that you love. Um, and this is something that you need to be aware of. I'm just going to ask for one more card of clarification for you. And you have the dreaming. So the dreaming is actually a card that gives you permission to dream and to simply be. It, give, it tells you that it's okay to dream, it's okay to fantasize, um, that you shouldn't necessarily share your dreams with others be, because you may be judged um, and that it's okay just to dream and to keep this to yourself and to be um, all that you can be in your dreams. And when the dreaming shows up with the messenger in this um, context, I take it to mean that dream as much as you like about messaging that person or contacting that person or that person contacting you and uh, visualize it and believe in it. And it's possible when these two cards come together that it's possible for it to manifest actually through your dreams. And in fact, try to... Uh, telepathically communicate to them or communicate to them through your dreams or your fantasies or through meditation um, and and just say what you need to say to them because the no contact is not doing you well and what I see also from this card the messenger is that perhaps there is some something that's not um, true that is stuck in that person's mind about you and that is a result of some um, beliefs that they have that are not true about you or somebody has said something about you or uh, or it could be simply that um, y you created a pr an impression on them at a moment which was a, a, it was a difficult moment in their life and so they have a kind of strange association with you as a result of that and you can use your dreaming you can use your fantasies you can use your meditation to actually be able to change that reality um, and to change that um, or to heal that of what is not true that that person believes about you okay so that's it for those of you who have chosen number two for those of you who have chosen number three, those of you who have had a recent separation, uh, those of you who have had um, a recent fight with each other, or rec uh, you've recently broken off with each other, what is the advice that you need to have for today? And I do believe it's this card. Once again. I'm just going to ask for any more advice for you. Okay, for those of you who've chosen number three and uh, you've had a recent separation or you've just broken off recently or you've just uh, had a, a huge uh, disagreement recently, um, the advice here is uh, once again um, to dream and to visualize what it is that you truly desire, to be free with your desires, to not restrict your, your fantasies, to not restrict your your desires um there is the concern that all these worries that you have all these things that are occupying your mind right now they are jumbled up thoughts that you know some are of love and some of joy and some of uh, of gratitude for having ha ha for having this person in your life and other parts of you are, are kind of you know miffed about the fact that this has happened and you're not really sure about how to how it's going to proceed or how to come back together. 
I feel that in some of your situations that you're watching this video because you want to come back together and uh, it's just very confusing for you right now and you just, there's all these different kind, types of emotions and they are leading you to have certain beliefs about the relationship and you've got to guard against that and what the advice is, is to dream completely, to dream about your relationship as you did at, right at the beginning of it and to understand and to feel this love and to, to breathe in this love, to let it completely swallow you and to be in this space, in this bubble of this love and this fantasizing and dreaming about what it is that you desire. Now this is um, not uh, advice that I would normally give to a person but that is the advice that's uh, suggested here uh, as per these cards and as per the spirit world. This is what they would like you to hear. And there's value in that because you're going back and you're appreciating all the wonderful moments that you spent with each other and you're really acknowledging the connection that you have with each other and you also have the divine help, uh, help here. They're watching over you as you do this so as to so that you do not feel the pain that's associated with this. And, um, yes, you know, there may be some feelings that creep in, um, which are more self-destructive or rather more like sabotaging your progress. Uh, but, uh, you know, just observe those thoughts and let them go and just go back to being able to smelling the, to smell the roses again, to understand what it is, uh, between you and that person and to set aside all the the jumbled up thoughts and the inability to explain the situation and the bewilderment uh, regarding the situation and your confusion and your feeling miffed about it and feeling irritated about it or just not, not really irritated but more like uh, oh, you can't believe this is happening again almost or you can't believe that this is happening at all and why should it happen and what you know and I feel that you might have come through some of the pain already or you might be feeling it but it's more the pain has turned more into a sort of um, anger or an annoyance and a confusion and um, yeah your your goal is not to remain in that space with that energy but to shift yourself from it so that's it for those of you who have chosen the number three for those of you who have chosen the number four uh, those of you who have this back and forth uh, relationship with this person where it never really ends but they always in your life and they in and out and you're not sure of where you stand with them what is the advice that you need for today what is the advice that you need for today okay so with regard to um this card the returning your guidance is to return to the situation with a renewed perspective with a renewed understanding um, to bring about profound change. So this is certainly not the end. And um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a new beginning. It's recreating a new beginning within the context. So what might seem as if it's um, the same back and forth um, continuing in the same cycles um, is not really the case. And it's um, important for you to return to that and to be able to look at all of it in a newer perspective. You can't return and expect things to remain the same while you were away. Uh, it all shifts and changes and um, it's metamorphosizing into something new. A, what, what is it that you really want to change in your life? And what is it that you wish would happen and how is it that you can go about um, regaining a deeper understanding about your situation um, each time that the person returns or that you return to the situation what what do you need to do to shift your perspective and what is it that you need to return to next and how can and what do you wish for to happen in in the greater context of things? I'm just going to ask for another card for you as well, as I've done for all the other um, readings, or the other options I meant. Mm. 
we have the big behind. So this card, the big behind, is asking you to look back. It's emphasizing the importance of what's happened in the past and evaluating that and understanding it completely. It says to you not to run away from the situation uh, because it's uncomfortable or because you want to have it in your past as soon as possible, but rather to look at it as a form of informing your uh, future and the decisions that you make in the future. The wisdom that you can gain from looking behind, looking at what's uh, what has happened is really very important in this context. And so for both these cards, um, your advice is basically to look behind, to see the situation for what it is, and then to redefine your perspective on it, to return to it with new eyes, with new energy, and, um, and see it in a different light, because therein lies the wisdom that you seek. So for those of you um, who have chosen um, the, um, uh, the fifth question, the question is, you are losing interest. What is your guidance with regard to the situation? You are tired, you are losing interest, but you have connection with this person. What is your advice? Okay, there we are. Oh, wow, we have that again. I'm going to ask for another card immediately. And I've got the hero. Um, the message is quite clearly, go back and look at where you've come from. There is information there that will assist you in moving ahead. Once you have done that, understand what it is that you have with you to be able to move forth with. And when you move forth, move forth in love, move forth in a feminine heroism, conquer with love, conquer with unconditional love, move forth with strength and with courage, and think of love on a larger scale. Give love not only to the one that you love, but love also others. Love your neighbors. Love the earth. Love all that you come into contact with. Accept differences in people. Understand that true love requires non-judgment. True love is unconditional. It isn't always comfortable, and it's not always fun, but it is heroic. So the, the message here is practice unconditional love, but first look behind, take a clear look at where you're coming from and what the situation really was. Moving on to the option number six. That is for those of you who are married in a partnership, or in a long-term commitment, and you are needing guidance. What is the guidance that we have for you today? What is the guidance for those in a long-term relationship? I'm going to go ahead and ask uh, right away for another card to clarify this one. This is an interesting, lovely combination. The Queen of Shadows talks about going inward, okay? But um, going inward and acknowledging that of you, which you use as, um, as a self-defense mechanism. So what aspects of yourself do you hide in the shadows? What is it that you prefer to keep hidden from the world? What is it that sits there in the shadow um, as a result of of something else that's happened in your life, but that impacts your current life. It's asking you to go back into your shadow 
into those years that may have been your shadow years or those experiences that may have been the shadow experiences and bring that to light. And this doesn't mean that you've got to dismantle yourself and give up yourself. Um, but it's important to bring out what's in the shadows, bring them out and acknowledge them, bring it to light, face the darkness. And it might be a frightening or uh, a daunting experience for you, but it can also be a truly um, exhilarating experience when you discover your true strength and you are completely in touch with what it is that um, holds you behind or what it is that uh, controls you ultimately. So it's saying to you to face the darkness, acknowledge it, and then if you'd like to put it back away, then do so. But do recognize all of you um, and every aspect of you, including your shadows and the relevance that the shadow has in your life right now. It's asking also for you to do that in order to shift your relationship or to grow within your relationship, rather. The tink um, refers to independence, um, standing your ground, uh, being able to express yourself freely. And it's, it's, you know, she's asking you to be as strong as possible as you can right now. Um, it's important to be able to listen and empathize with other people's points of view most of the time. But it's really, really important for you to stand up for yourself and say what you need to say for you. So within this relationship, it's important for you to speak your mind, to share your opinion and stand up for yourself. Um, you know, you may also say, just say what's on your mind. It's important for you to just get it off your chest. Right. So this is what this card is saying. It's it's um it's basically if you're in a relationship and you're feeling that it's a little bit stagnant or things are not moving or your needs are not being met on some level, you need to be able to go back and see what it is it in your own life that you need really and why is it that you need that and then come back to and and you may express yourself emotionally emotively excuse me emotively with your partner and and just basically saying what you need what you need is going to help you to access what you need in this situation. It, um, it, there's something that you really need to say that's really important to you that you have not been able to articulate as yet. And, um, or you may have been voicing your opinion too often, um, in a, with the result that that person doesn't listen to you anymore. So, you need to think about how, what is it that you need to say to this person and come. Um, out with it from a deep space within you um, and, and and yeah speak your truth in this in this um, instance and stand your ground and for those of you who are in a love triangle what do you need to do what do you need to know what is your advice here for those of you who are in a love triangle what is it that you need to know or to do I'm going to go ahead and ask for a clarification here or for any other advice that may come through. So the thief in this deck of cards um, actually refers to the loss of time. Where is your time being stolen? Where is your energy being stolen? Where is it that you cannot be completely 100% the highest being that you can within a situation where what are your excuses where are you not taking action and where do you have lessons to learn um, this is an important um, message for you those of you who are in a love triangle it's saying to you that you need to address certain problems. You need to fix certain aspects of a relationship that you're just not getting around to doing. And you need to find somehow the energy to face a confrontation or to make an effort um, to be able to do this. It's saying to you also that um, it's possible for one 
to have their love stolen, meaning that you could just wake up one day and not have that love there anymore. And as much as this is a really strong um, uh, feeling that you have right now, and this applies to the person who's uh, in love with an, one who's with another, as well as um, to somebody who's in love with one and in a partnership with one and that and your your partner has another so as well as the the person you know who has two persons so the 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 thing that you have to understand here is that something is being stolen yeah the love is being stolen and you can actually wake up one day and find out that you just don't have love anymore for this person and this is actually um here to tell you, to guide you, to, to, to tell you to take action with regard to this. The, you are Something is being stolen from you, which you thought was under your control. Um, and it's not the time to wait. It's not the time to procrastinate. Now is the time to take action. Um, it's not any longer allowed for you to have any excuses. You have lessons to learn here and you need to learn it. And this is regardless of whether you're the third party or the first party or the second party or whatever it is, um, just so you know. The, um, the, when I see this, the thief next to this card, I, I see it uh, speaking of the, the essence of you, your innocence, your vulnerability, your beauty, your uh, your delicate aspect is being robbed from you. You are being tainted in this situation. You are losing your innocence through this um, love triangle that you're in. You are losing that part of you which is the most radiant and the the, the most beautiful aspect of yourself. That aspect of you which is a gift uh, which is your soul, which shines brightly and radiates outward, is being tarnished. Your light is not shining as brightly anymore because the concerns and the worry and the amount of thought that you give towards this love triangle is eating you away and it's robbing you of that. And when you are ready to take a decision that empowers you and helps you shine brightly again. You have the support of the universe. You have to step back into your tune and play your music and be who you are. Sing your life along according to your soul purpose. And um, this is not to say that um, the relationship that you're in is wrong or right. There's no judgment here. But what this does say is that the way in which this is impacting you is that it's robbing you of something which is your essence and that is vital to you and your to your existence. And what are you going to do about it? You need to take action now. If you have chosen the option number eight, uh, for those of you who are longing for somebody who's deceased, somebody that you haven't had contact with in many, many years, several years, um, perhaps decades even, uh, somebody who's completely out of your life, we you don't have any contact with you, not expecting any contact with them. It's for you, actually. What is that? We're asking the question, what is their advice? Oh, there we are. Oh, there's two cards that have fallen out. So I'm going to, uh, this was the one on top, so I'm going to put them like this again. So here we have the child and we have this card again. And what I want to say about that is that... Um, there, this is an opportunity for you to be able to dream once again and to wonder about that person, to wonder what this person who you're missing um, could have been in your life. It's okay to do that. It's not necessary to embrace the full reality, the full uh, knowledge that that person is not in your life at the moment. You can wonder, you can dream, you can imagine, you can fantasize what it would be like to be this child who has no knowledge of that which is passed on or that which is in your past. It's about going back to that place where you let go of your worries, if you, you let go of your concerns, you let go of the past hurts and you break yourself super light yeah, and 
in doing so, you bring yourself once again, um, as this card uh, shows up, you bring yourself to that of you, which is ready to move on, to create something new in your life, to be able to embrace a new beginning full of love. So I feel that here, what you need to do is work through difficulties that you've had as a result of losing this person. You need to work with this trauma. You need to work with this pain. You need to grieve your loss, but completely grieve it. And once you've done that, then allow yourself to live again. Allow yourself a new beginning. Allow yourself to completely be free, to completely wander like a child wanders, like a child plays with full concentration, not scattered in their thoughts, returning to thoughts of sadness and grief. R what they are asking you to do here is to remain one with yourself um, in the truest essence of your being, in, the, in your core, at a place at which you return to your innocence. And uh, yes, the, the, the knowledge of this person not being in your life is there and it may loom above you, but it's necessary to be able to experience yourself fully within your context and really bring yourself back to you. Bring yourself back to you, but not just with to you on an inter, in an intellectual sense and thinking about yourself and um, doing mundane, routine, uh, quotidian activities, but actually bringing yourself back into your joy, back into your innocence, and from there on, moving on with a new beginning. Okay, so thank you all for coming by today and... Um, for partaking in this reading there are lots of people have asked comment uh, questions in the comment section and some and i endeavored to answer some of your questions here in a oracle card reading that gives you guidance for your specific situations and i've just used one deck of cards okay i'd like to thank you all for coming by today and i'm wishing you well and blessings abound from kiss rising